the uh, has of course been the rental bikes which may be a, an option in the future as well so you can also arrive and ride but richardminibikes.com for more information we're going to move on though of course to our next race in the calendar we have the junior supermoto 140 and mini gp bikes out on the course now for their sighting lap this is how they line up harley mccabe from Ruben Bray, Lake and Payne in third, Zach Weston in fourth position, Lewis Mullen in fifth, Ryan Hamilton in sixth position. We'll pick up seventh place very shortly, but Luca Wilkinson in eighth from Wilson Dilks, Joel Grieg in tenth position, Ollie Sims eleventh from Harvey Lathrope. Always one of the top supermoto riders there. Joshua Williams in thirteenth place from Daniel Stevenson, Toby Skaman, Tyo Collimore in sixteenth place, Dominic Gardner. And Ozian Thomas in 18th position. 19th is Rachel Hamilton. Kobe Garbett with no time in the qualifying will round out the 20 rider field. Now, uh, of course, if you're not familiar with this class, this is effectively two classes in one. We've got the mini GP bikes and the supermotos racing together but scored separately in their own championships. It is fairly easy to identify these riders in terms of the bikes that they're racing. The Mini GP bikes, the likes of the Bucci and the Ovali machines, almost representing scale down Moto GP superbike sort of style design bikes. The uh, Junior Supermoto is a bit more like the motocross sort of format with the Supermoto style bikes. You've got the upright handlebars and the more, you would say, Supermoto motocross style design bikes down. Well, you tend to be down in the midfield battling through into the top 10. Those riders are racing separately but they uh, they're racing together say in scored separately and we'll uh, try and keep abreast of those lead mini gp and junior supermoto bikes once we get underway very shortly one rider in a bit of trouble at the back of the field really mechanical trouble there as you can see but just uh, getting a helping hand and should be okay and uh, marshall's now being told to uh, clear the circuit there is one rider yet to make their way onto the grid, so the start has been halted. Doesn't appear to be anything too serious, and perhaps it's just a mechanical issue at the start once they got underway. It's a bit late joining the field, but it looks like everyone's in position now. Green flag goes up, so riders, all eyes on the lights. And away we go. Junior Supermoto and Mini GP charging into the first corner. They get off the grid cleanly, charging into that first corner. Lake and Payne with a good start from Zach Weston and Lewis Mullen in there as well. In the midfield, Daniel Stevenson and Harvey Lathrow battling with the Supermotos. But here they come into the first corner. Looks like a good jump there from Lake and Payne. Zach Weston in there as well. And Lewis Mullen just a bit further behind. Round the centre as they go for the first time. There's the 111. I think that may be uh, Lewis Mullen in there. Luca Wilkinson, 76, also well placed. And they make their way round Brooklyn's hairpin down Speedway straight for the first time. Just a few shout outs here for uh, Brian Bain. Delighted for Jack Hamilton taking the race wins yesterday, today, and uh, good luck to the Hamilton family. Shout outs for Kobe Garbett, and good luck to uh, Brian and Rachel Hamilton. So, if you're uh, supporting a rider, get in touch on the YouTube channel. We'll uh, give some shout outs. Round the final corner they go, and here come our leaders for the first time. So, it looks like Harley McCabe at the front, just pulling away slightly. Look at the 179 on your timing charts there. That's the race leader. That will be inserted as the race goes on. Lake and Payne in second place from Lewis Mullen, Luca Wilkinson and Wilson Dilks also well placed. So McCabe leads. Ruben Bray also in the mix as well. And rider right down on the first up, that's the 78 in trouble there. That was Joshua Williams. Now that was just on the exit of the first hairpin there. So he may have just got it wrong on the braking. Doesn't appear to be a serious incident. Rider okay. And the race goes on. Down the back straight they go. And this is getting close at the front here because we've got the 41 of Lake and Payne. Fighting there with Lewis Mullen, Luke Wilkinson and Wilson Delks all in there as the leaders make their way round towards the final corner. 
Here comes your race leader, and it is still the 179 of Harley McCabe over the line, just establishing a small gap at the front. 2.4 seconds, and look at this three way tussle into the first corner. Lincoln Payne, Luca Wilkinson, and Lewis Mullen, three abreast into that first corner, but look at this. We've got McCabe pulling away now, two and a half seconds. And second through to about 10th place. You could almost throw a, a fire blanket over those riders. It is that close. This is just the type of racing that we see on a wide open track such as Pembury. We see this sort of race quite often at Three Sisters as well, which is that similar kind of fast open track. And it really does produce some great racing. Although, of course, Harley McCabe, your race leader, is not too bothered about that at the moment. And I think our lead supermoto rider in there as well. The 35 of Zach Weston leading the supermotos. You should see him. The back of this little group, there he is. Look at the upright riding position almost from that supermoto style machine. He's leading the supermotos. Currently about eighth on the track, although it's too close to call at the moment. As the race leader, there goes McCabe, your leader. Oh, rider in trouble though. Was, was that a back marker? No, it's one of the back markers as they go flying through. I think that was Rachel Hamilton, the number 15, who moves up to 16th position, lapped by this fantastic battle for second place. There goes McCabe, and it's anyone's guess who's going to be in second place. Now it's Luca Wilkinson up to second, just trying to break away. Now would be a good time with three laps to go, because look how close it is behind as they make their way through the center S's. Out of the corner they go. Wilkinson trying to keep a tighter line there. Payne and Hamilton just a bit more of a sweep possibly. That might come to their advantage as they make their way back towards Speedway Straight. Look how close they are though. Lewis Mullen, Wilson, Dilk, Sarni Carr, Joel Grigg, Zach Weston all in there. Harvey Lathrop just a little bit further behind. I can tell you that Joshua Williams is back on the bike after his spill so good to see him back in the race as well. Look how close they are though through Carter's curve. Heading back towards Honda once again. Now is this Looking at the, uh, the lap charts here, I believe, yep, two laps remaining in this race. McCabe setting the fastest lap of the race, and here they come for second. Wilkinson, Payne, and Mullen all very close indeed. Looks like Payne's gone through to second. Mullen up to third, and Luca Wilkinson drops to fourth, although he immediately fights back out of the hairpin and tries to retake that third position. So all jostling for position. The showdown will be next time round as Wilkinson... Fights back into second place momentarily. Payne back into second on the number 41. Wilkinson third. Lewis Mullen, Joel Grigg, Brian Hamilton a bit further behind. Harley McCabe, of course, clear of this. 5.3 seconds ahead, setting the fastest lap of the race, 106.691. And talking to McCabe yesterday at the press conference, he said that this track wasn't really his favourite. Not that keen, but... Certainly not showing it on the track as he clears away and lets everyone else do battle behind him. There they go through Carter's curve once again. Heading towards Honda. There goes McCabe, the race leader. Clear away at the front. Down towards the line to take the last lap board. Here we go. One lap to go. Who's going to take second place here? Oh, and they are almost four abreast into the first corner. It's a battle on the brakes. And Joel Gregg up to second momentarily. They had a good line into the hairpin. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. There they all go. At the back of that group is the leader of the junior supermoto, Zach Weston. But I'm sure he'll want to get in the mix of this one as well as they make their way through towards the centre S's for the final time. Barring anything on toward, Harley McCabe has got the win sewn up. He's just got to get the bike home with 7.5 seconds ahead, but it's wide open for 2nd place. Here they come down towards the... Brooklyn's for the final time. Zach Weston moves up a position. This Carter's curve could be very important indeed. Now with so many riders, the exit here is going to be crucial. So it was Lake and Payne. Looks like Joel Grieg with that good line into the first corner has held on to that second place. The leader coming around the final corner. There goes Harley McCabe. Takes a comfortable checkered flag. But now the question is who's going to be in second place? Oh, and it's a drag race to the line for second place. And by the finest of margins, Lewis Mullen takes second place. Joel Grigg in third. Luca Wilkinson in fourth. Grigg and Wilkinson almost side by side over the line. One hundredth of a second between those two. It'll be Lake and Payne in fifth. 
Brian Hamilton on the 191 in sixth, Wilson Dilks in seventh, Zach Weston in eighth position from Arnie Carr on the 83 in ninth. And they went through a lot quicker than it said to say those, uh, say those names. To be precise, less than a second covering between second and ninth place. So yet another spectacular slipstreaming race. Harvey Lathrope rounds out the top ten. He will be second in the Junior Supermoto. Zach Weston, the eighth place rider, taking the win in Junior Supermoto. A bit further back, we have Ollie Sims, Daniel Stevenson, Tyo Collimore, Toby Skamen, Dominic Gardner. Last rider on the lead lap. Ruben Bray finishing a lap down, according to our lap charts. Joshua Williams, who dropped the bike earlier on, just about to cross the line. There he goes. And Rachel Hamilton on the number 15, rounding out the 18-rider combined field. So yet another great race there.